Welcome to Tech Simplified, and my name is Sly Gittins. If you're trying to pass the Microsoft DP900, the Data Fundamental Certification, this video is the one you're going to watch. I got a step-by-step -step guide that's geared to help you pass this exam. So make sure you watch this video to the end. I know you're going to love this guide, so let's get right into it. Um, the DP900 is a foundational certification if you're trying to understand how to work with data within the Azure platform. I try to do is who is going to be um, taking this exam and what should be on your mind if you're planning to take this exam, right? So you should have found the foundational core data concepts and how they are implemented within Azure Data Services, right? Um, that's the profile. Again, it's the bare bones. If you're someone who de deals with data every day, you probably can skip this because it's not a prerequisite to take the foundational certification within Microsoft. But for someone like myself who didn't have a strong background in data, I wanted to start here and then go into the administrator level certification if I want to later on. So what will you learn, right? That's the main thing you want to find out. And I, I made sure to put that right inside this document for you. So you're going to be able to describe core data concepts, describe how they work within the relational and non-relational data on Azure, and describe an analytic workload on Azure, right? So that's what you're going to learn from here, very basic, and you won't need to be to do any type of configuration. They don't expect you that. This is bare bones understanding how to utilize and how to understand the concepts in which um, in data, we're, I mean, in, in relates to Azure. So one thing I love to put in here is if you're watching this uh, in April um, 2022, um, it's up to date, all the links work. But if this is a year from now, six months from now, you got to go to the skills measure document to see the latest and greatest of this outline because Microsoft does a great job of every six to 10 months updating the exam because as we know, when we're dealing with cloud, it changes almost every day. Um, so it has to, the, the, the test has to evolve itself. So make sure you, you click on that just to verify. Um, the next thing is, what's the core areas we're going to focus on the objectives of this exam? So describe core data concepts. Again, how we talked about earlier, um, describe how to work with relational data on Azure, describe how to work with non-relational data on Azure, and describe an analytic workload, right? So what I did is I aligned the skills measure document, and I made the hyperlinks match those areas. I try to change from the vertical more to the horizontal um, layout because it's made a little bit cleaner for people to to view the, the data. So that's what some of the feedback I got from my previous um, guides is, hey, Sly, could you make it more horizontal and easier to um, click through? So that's what I end up doing. Um, so you're going to see all the different areas here with links directly to the Microsoft Learn page. I tend to do that because um, this Let's go to those pages because Microsoft wrote those. And I also added some additional information in the additional study resources, right? So, again, you can align right into the free uh, Microsoft Learn pages right here. If you want to see the holistic view in each individual module, you can go to this right here as well. If you're someone who likes to have a physical teacher go in person or do it online, you can also utilize this course right here. It does have a price tag for it. It's $550, but those courses directly from Microsoft are fantastic. I've used a few of them myself. If $550 is a little bit out your budget, Cloud Academy has a great certification that is pretty updated. From well, I'll take a look at this again. This was recorded uh, in April 2022, so Hopefully, it's still updated, but this one's a little bit cheaper. You just pay 40 bucks a month, and you get access to not only to this training, but the other training within Cloud Academy, and I do use that. That's something I keep um, in addition to the Microsoft training that I provided. Um, practice tests, practice tests, practice tests. I can't speak enough how important they are to have. So the great thing is you got a couple of different options. You get the paid one. This one is the closest one I found that represents the actual exam. So when you take it, you feel like you're in an exam, um, and, and it's, it's awesome. You also, what Microsoft is trying to do is give you some practice questions for the exam. This is still in beta phase because um, usually Microsoft don't give you practice exams. You have to go find them on your own. Um, practice questions for the exams, right? And now they have it. So take a look. It's free. 
click on them, I found that they were pretty cool, you know. Um, I like to use as many practice tests to help me get a feel of what type of questions, because sometimes the information isn't hard, but sometimes how the questions are asked are hard, and the better chances that you can see that wordplay is the better chance that you can pass the exam. Exam topics, I love exam topics. I use it for almost every certification. And if you watch other videos, you know I, I talk about it all the time. I got that in there for you. I also put a link to Azure documentation because after you take this exam, you're still going to need access to it because not only are you going to do is continue to build on that knowledge, and that is where that information lies, and you're going to love that. I like to work within the community, ask questions, because they usually have questions that I have on my mind. I check the community pages to see if they've already been asked and find the answer to save your time, especially if you're an admin, um, a data scientist. Go here, get into the community, be active, share questions, respond, um, and that's a great way just to be seen, heard, and build some uh, rapport with your peers or just solve questions without you having to go find on your own. Someone probably already did it, right? So stay locked into this video because I got even more information on how you can get this guide. All right, so you made it to the end. I know you love this guide. You want to get your hands on it. You're so excited. So add me on LinkedIn. My name is Sly Gittins. Send me a message. Hey, Sly, I need the DP900 guide because I got to pass this exam, and I'm going to send it to you right through LinkedIn. If you're having trouble through LinkedIn, Send me an email. My email is gittinsylvester at gmail.com, and it will be in the show notes so you can view it there. And coming soon, I will have a new website that I will put in here, um, inside here, so you can just get it off the website. You don't have to go through any of these means. Um, but also, if you want to watch any other trainings, I have uh, more certification video trainings like the AZ500, the MS500, the AZ900, the MS900, and so much more. Watch it here. Don't go anywhere else. Keep it locked into this channel. Also, if you want to learn through other people's experience, I have the Woman in Tech series that I talk to dynamic ladies in tech that share their stories and how they got started, how they overcome some obstacles, and how to continue to thrive inside um, the IT world. So until next time, Sly Gittins is out. Peace.